more than 3 million units manufactured now. So this is incredible to have so much Cintron units in the market. And we have now over 2,000 satisfied users worldwide. It's quite a lot. Complaints with that material. I've, if I have heard some complaints, it may be considered the fitting of the result, but never the material, never the material that someone will tell you there is some um, bubbles inside or something like that. This will never happen with that material. Of course, it's not a casted material. It's a prefabricated soft material which gets sintered after the work. When we have a look at the history where this material comes from, we can see that we came from the Fraunhofer Institute. The Fraunhofer Institute is in Dresden located and this corporation was one of the best ones to develop this material. Independent universities made tests and a lot of laboratories made tests before this market get, got on the market five years ago. And we are now really happy to have that. And a lot of technicians in the market, they are using that material and they are really happy with. I will show some customers working with that material and some pictures to that. Here we have Mrs. Rosa Winterhalter and Mr. David May from the Constance Lake here. It's nearby the Vorarlberg area, you know here the Koblach area and they are having here a nice work. This really delicious picture with solid FX crowns on a based Cintron work here, covered, dressed here with some pink light curing material. And as it's a big span bridge on implants, for example. Then we have one of our famous Facebook presentations here. This is Lukas Sapolovic, Sap Sopalovic, sorry. And I think everyone which is on Facebook will know him. He is really hap happening a lot of things which is beyond every limit. Big implant cases, bars, screw retained bridges, everything. He has no limit and no restriction. He makes everything possible on that. And Sintron used for crown and bridges only, he says, is not enough. He wants to have more and therefore he finds out the borders and cross them and develop new ideas. For example, he made some nice tricks here with a stabilizer for his economical business, Lukas Sopalovic from uh, the Polish Republic. Next guy here you know is Jörg Schönthal. He's making trainings also. He's go he has now opened the borders of indications with his um, Cintron experience and his standard solution for his typical crown is the German crown. He makes a lot of German crowns, the telescopic crown also well known and this is also made in Cintron. He has, he has really made tremendous knowledge in manufacturing of big span bridges and as telescopes, um, veneered, light cured acrylic. He has a special technique he is producing his work with the overpress technique and he is milling wax patterns for the for the try-in and he will finish the work afterwards with a light curing uh, translucent uh, material and uh, this is a really tricky thing. So if you have once a time the chance to join him, please take the chance. He's really making nice things and most of you I think you know him also. It's Jörg Schönthal. Another guy, uh, a kind of nerd, you know, this is our Matthias Klingner here from the middle of Germany. He is really a great, he has a great team and he's a really young technician and the normal technique is not his aim. He wants to test the limits and he loves to do secondary, especially of bars in Centron. So you see a nice work here with these latches here with these parts from for example, the Braden company here to make a lock here inside the horizontal screws and so on. Nice thing to watch. And now why should you use the material? What's the so nice and magic on the material? We have first a perfect match between the Cintron and the Argotherm too. This is the furnace you need. The material alone is not so nice thing. You could not work on it. Let's show you in a, in a small in my video cam. I have to two blocks here. One is the block, this is the raw one, it's a 98 shape with a special uh, outside, fits in 
machines here for uh, industrial use. And this one, this was, was from the exhibition uh, two or three years or four years ago. I have put that away and you see we have a lot of different indications inside. I could break that material. This is now soft at the moment. I could even scratch with my my fingernails on the edge and could scratch the material. It's not like a uh, casted material and it's really heavyweight. Uh, so this is a, a small one, but the, the big one is really heavyweight. But what is the, the magic on it? Let's talk about that. We have the material and the furnace. We have to sinter it and this perfect matching, the synergy between both, that's the the advantage of both when you have both that you can make quality and accuracy in fit then we have now with the argovent 2 a 24 percent more capacity you can put more units in this chamber this is now making up over 40 units in a single sintering cycle and the material is really convenient of course the cutters they last as long as you know, hundreds of units, they don't get wet, they keep sharp and it's really, really a easy reworking in that green state. When you have cut them out, the units, you can put them with the silicone and to prepare them before you sinter and after sintering, you don't have to grind so much with the disc and it's not so noisy and not so dirty here to have that. And everything is possible. We have a big variety of these indications. Bars, wide span bridges, sliding elements, everything you can imagine, even the telescopic routes. This is a favorite thing here for Germany. And that's all you can do with that material. That's a reason why you should and try and use it, the material. And the biggest aim was now to integrate that material also in the process, in the complete precision manufacturing chain we're talking about. And if you are familiar with the company Amand Gebach, you know that we appreciate to have this proceeding chain here, the processing chain, starting from the model building for the from the blaster to the pin trimming machine, to the scanner, to the software, to the milling units, and now at the end <clears throat> on the, the furnaces here. <clears throat> to lead to a maximum on security and the guarantee for your daily routine process. That was the, the goal and the solution we want to have. And what do you need for that now integrated in that processing chain is you need the blocks just shown. In the cam, we have a 71 horseshoe shape and we have a 98 or 95 shape. This is a rounded one. Then what you need is the Argo vent. This is the sintering compartment, the, the chamber inside, which uh, works with argon protection shield, gas inside, and you need the, the furnace. And these new parts now, let's have a look in the middle part here. Let's have my laser pointer. These parts here, you see we have some of them. They're in dark. So dark means this material is not a ceramic material. This is called a silicium carbide material. We have also learned during the R&D, the research and development, that these parts are the parts which have a problem in the shape. Of course, when you heat that and you make that in metal, it could leave the form and could clamp together. And that was now done with the Argo Vent 2. We have all that parts now in a perfect fitting. There are no more clamping and you can even put more units inside. Of course, the chamber is bigger. Watch the small detail here on the bottom, on the rear side. On the rear side, we have a special valve here now, which is a temperature, can even hold high temperatures. And the parts of the silicium carbide, they are printed. There is one company in the world which is printing that material. Of course, it is a high, high melting point for that parts. And they did it and we have it now here in the Argovent 2. The process itself, let's have a closer look to that. So we have the block here at the blank in a defined with a defined factor. It has also a shrinkage. The shrinkage is around 11 to 12 percent. Then we go after the uh, design, we go to the dry processing. You can use every machine here on the market to use a dry processing. Even our machines, every of these machines is working. And then we have the furnace with the sintering chamber. You see here a small detailed picture with that lot of units here inside our compartment. 
and you see here that picture when it comes out and it's really easy to go with silicones on it and the final result here in these two crowns Knut Miller has made a lot of pictures we will have a closer look to some nice pictures in the end of our presentation we can see that this material is really is, is uh, it's amazing when I have some trainings with the customers and I show the material the first time and I have a finished crown and I give it to them in their hands and they tell them please now go with your silicone go with your disc and with your burr and try to make a shiny surface on it they are really amazed how quick it works and it's a uh, a uh, much homo more homogeneous material than every other casted material here in the lab which are normally used the furnace and the uh, compartment here we are speaking about highest quality to make it safe and with efficiency in the workflow and this is really now economical the sintering we are sintering in a time span of nearly five hours and this is under protection of shielding gas this is the argon gas and it's even operating with optimized cooling so the process is cut down in time of course the compressed air cools down the chamber a little quicker and this is sintering at a push of a button it's very easy to do with a touch screen and with a program which is inside shows you the time remaining time and the temperature at the sintering process for big span bridges, big is better. This is the topic here. We have a larger sintering compartment now. It's easier with the operation. And how do you work with that big span bridges? You have uh, two choices. You can even put it here when you have smaller units in the sintering beads. And when you have bigger, then you put it here on a float sinter disk. We'll talk about that in the next pages. And this this project here important for you to know that you can use now even the biggest sized uh, constructions imagine if you have a 98 disc and you will mill out the biggest bridge which fits in that block this construction will fit also in the sintering chamber in the argovan 2 it's 100 percent compatible and then when you look at then you will see you can make these big span bridges I tried to make some of these works during my time as I've been a technician working in casting technique and I tried to do everything which was was possible to get a fitting work and I didn't match really good of course the the investment materials will never give this precise uh, results than here with a central material much more talking about big cases you have two possibilities you can choose a kind of sinter support on it you can see here on the tip of our construction we have these small sinter supports and the placement is on a zirconia disc under the disc we can even now put out every beads here we can sinter without any beads inside and we only put the sintering disc in and put the big span bridge on it and you have a second the possibility to make a bridge split tool to cut the final work with a 10 20 50 microns cut the nice thing is if you have these thin cuts over your constructions you don't need any more additional materials for lasering or welding you, uh, for lasering you only can work with gentle parameters and you can set some spots here from both sides lift up lift off the work and then, then you can finalize the work and it's a really easy to work with sintering process you uh, for sorry for the lasering process of course the lasering when you have casted works they always try to get tensions inside when you shoot with a laser on a on a casted uh, uh, partial framework for example you can feel even the tensions inside happening with each shot you set on it what's the indications the indications diversity is nearly now unlimited we see here the telescopic crowns we see here the big cases big span bridges crowns and multi-unit bridges on implants here you can glue inside the titanium bases even sliding elements like the Prezi line or such else elements can put in in the construction and you can make bars works here everything is now covered with that indications and let's say like Jörg Schönthal say 
it's really indispensable in our laboratory. We have made every process is based on this material. Special highlight is that the practical cause of your Schöntal shows the easy workflow for the construction and he goes uh, very um, deeply in this expert mode, milling, sintering, and finally also he shows the adaption and the fitting process. And I have just watched once a day when he made a course of training and it took it never more than two or three minutes to make the fitting between the secondary and the primary part on it. So it happens really very quick. He will show that and here he makes these hands-on courses step-by-step -step videos and the secondary structures. You will find a lot of videos also on Facebook. I've seen really a lot of videos when people bring on the secondary construction on a, on a primary one. High definition milling. This is really nice when you have a 0.3 millimeter cutter and you have the high definition milling to get the most detailed fissures inside. You see this is happens here in the machine and also this, this cutter, this burr will last hundreds of units of course the material is so soft. You don't mill in a hard material, you mill in a soft material. And the result is really when you polish it, when you make a polishing paste on it with a small brush and you go to the polishing unit, it's really a homogeneous polished surface. Um, I think it's enough to be said, to have been said for this pictures here. Nice picture of a work from Jörg Schöntal. It's six months later after insertion in the mouth and you see the condition of the mucosa of the gingiva is really quite perfect. It's like build it in forever here and there are no inflammations, no colorings which would cause inflammations or, or some allergies or so. This material is fitting like perfect like zirconia in the mouth for bio compatibility. So it's a nice thing. So every test here of corrosion resistance, static immersions, electrochemical, cytotoxicity or so. This is everything is passed and the, we have here the highest material quality which was verified by universities and testing laboratories. Customers, they always ask when, they, when we show that the first time, ah, you're working in one machine with sinter material and then you change material, zirconia, and then again you have Sintron in it. Is that not a problem? Then I say, no, we just made testings. We put some Sintron dust, some powder, and put it inside our zirconia bridges. And we see if we have cleaned it by steaming or by brushing or by air pressure, nothing is inside after sintering. So there is no contamination, you can say, between that materials. During your working in the lab, when you look at the exposition, when you have the dust inside machine, we have made, I was there, I, I watched that test here and helped this man here from the Berufsgenossenschaft. This is a special institution, a distribution from German, Germany. They are caring about the healthness of the people, the technicians. And you see here, the maximum limit would be two milligrams per a square a cubic meter. And we have here a, a measuring value here of 0 0.00084. This is the dust in the, in the air, which happens during the, the milling process. So everything of dust is much smaller than the allowed value. And the bond that contains the cutting. So we, we use suction. We, if you want to have it necessary, you use a face mask and a suction and you work like the same, you do it with the casted works. So last picture, nice picture. These are the works possible here with the Sintron and I hope you enjoyed and the ones of you which have made experience, I hope you like it in the future again and we will spread it all over the world, the material. The ones who have not tried and will try it in the future, I encourage you to use the material. And so we are through our presentation. I thank you very much for watching and it was a pleasure to have you on board. Thank you.